Hey guys, JTF here. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to create a map using real terrain data. Uh, I know there's already a, a tutorial on FSUK to do this uh, created by Napalm, but uh, I decided to give you a quick uh, video tutorial that is up to date. Um, Napalm, uh, just like any of uh, just like anyone else also has a real life so he hasn't had the time to uh, update his tutorial yet so that is why I'm going to create this short video uh, explain how you want to do it uh, at least the first few steps uh, with the EDM data so what you first want to do is uh, go and download Google Earth once you have downloaded it you will simply have to open it and then find the area that you want to create your map in now I want to create my area from where I live, um, which is in Denmark, and that's also the reason that my English sucks, but hey, what can you do? You could, you could get better at it, but hey, who wants to be better? So I want to create a uh, farming simulator map uh, from this area. So first what you want to do is go up to... Uh, top bar of Google Earth, uh, which, uh, where you'll find this uh, icon. Uh, you sim you want to open that, and then you uh, get a few different um, um, tabs up here. Sorry, uh, I sometimes has uh, sometimes I forget the proper word on English, so I have to dig through my brain to find the correct word. So, up here you got some different uh, tabs. Uh, what you want to do is go to the last one. It's, uh, I guess it's going to say uh, measurements, probably. Now you want to, right now it's set to mile. You want to change that to kilo kilometers. The re the reason for that is that. Um, it's easier to do it in kilometers than miles and because uh, the standard giant maps is uh, covers, an a covers an area of 2 by 2 kilometers so this is the reason that you actually want uh, to use kil kilometers now you want to make a rectangle that is 2 by 2 kilometers long um, uh, around the area that you want to cre uh, create your map on. So, first you click once here, and then you go approximately two kilometers up, or to the side, depending on what you want, and then click again. Now I got a line here. So I can see right now my line is 2.61 kilometers long, and that is six point, and that is uh, 61 kilometers. Uh, 0.61 uh, kilometers too long, so I have to shorten it a bit down to 2, or at least around 2, and then I want to make sure it's as straight as, pos as, straight as possible. There we go. Now I want to click another place, and again make sure it's a rectangle, so over here, and do the same thing. Uh, now it's just four kilometers. That's because this line is two kilometers long and this line is two kilometers long, and that's four kilometers. So you'll want to make sure it says four. Like that. And then do the same thing uh, for, the for the rest of the time. So around there I think. Personally I prefer to create uh, each line separately but uh, I'll just do it this way for now. It should be about right and then over here. So there we go. It's near okay, 7.98 approximately. Uh, so then you click OK, and now we got this little rectangle right here. Now I want to 
now that now that you got the uh, rectangle, uh, you can minimize Google Earth because now we want to do something. Oops. Because now we want to go to the topic on FSUK uh, called creating maps from real time from real terrain data. Uh, it is it was created by Nepal. Uh, you want to go into here and then at the top you'll see this big red text saying due to the SRTM service being taken offline the first couple of steps no longer work please see the last post for a temporary fix you'll want to go there so click on the Duras post and here we go now first we want to find the area that you want to stay in uh, on Google Earth so go up here and let's see my area you can see it down at the bottom right my area is 55 degrees north and 9 degrees east so I take a quick note of that whoopsie then go back here and then go down step 2 it says go to this side click on it and now you get a few options depending on where you live if you live in Africa you want to click on Africa and the same goes for Australia, Euro, Asia, Iceland, uh, the islands, they are the different small islands, I guess it is, uh, North America and South America. Now I live in Europe, in, in uh, Europe, so I click on Euro Asia. This will take you here. This site contains all the different H HDT files for the different areas in Europe and Asia. Now, I have to find the coordinates for my area and that was N55 north, 55 degrees north and 9 degrees east. So, I have to go down quite a bit. There we go. North 55 degrees and east 9 degrees you want to click that link and it will download your file I have already done this so I'll so then you want to open the file uh, I use Google Chrome so I can simply just click on it once it's downloaded uh, if you use another browser um, then you might have to go to a downloads folder now once you've opened it open the uh, zip file you want to click and drag the file in the zip file out to either your desktop or your documents folder or wherever you want it to be I, al I already had one so I'll just copy it and replace it now now that I got this file on my computer I'll have to install micro DEM to be able to open the HTT file now Micro DEM to find that you'll simply have to just Google it. Uh, so Google Micro DEM. Here we go. Right there, the Micro DEM home page. Go there and then go to download. First, you want to download the BDA file. Download it and, and install it. This would only take a few minutes. Once you have downloaded that and installed it, you'll want to download the complete micro DEM install. So download that and install that. Once you're finished installing it, you can close down the micro DEM site. Now you want to open the micro DEM program. So simply go into wherever you installed it and click open. This will once it's opening it will take a few, a few seconds to open and then you get these messages uh, I simply just click no 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 I don't need them and then close this box now you have opened micro DEM now what, you, now what you want to do is go up to the top left corner and click on file open and open DEM now you want to go to whatever you have posted your uh, 
uh, or unpack your uh, your file uh, that we uh, downloaded earlier. Uh, I uh, unpacked mine to the desktop, so I just have to go down a bit here and find the there the HGT file in 55E009. Then just click on it and then click open. And there we go. Now I have opened the HTT file in micro DEM. Now what you want to do is click on File, Save Map as Image, and then click Quick Map Export to Google Earth. Then you get this screen and you simply click OK. This will open this map in Google Earth. So now you have it in here. <coughs> Sorry about that. Now what you want to do is zoom into the area that we marked early, earlier and make sure it fits the screen as much as possible. Uh, do, do, do. You can use the zoom in button out here to get a more... To I think it's about right about there. Yeah, that seems about right. So. Now what we want to do is, as you can see, I can still see the earth behind the DEM data and if I now uh, take this uh, area and take a snapshot on, of it and use it in my map, it, it will look terrible. So what you want to do is go over to the left side panel on Google Earth and click on the uh, micro DEM file. Uh, I guess it will probably look like this when you get it, then simply click on the little arrow so you get the micro DEM32 file. Once you get that, you can either right click and copy, and then right click and paste. Or you could just use control, left control C and left control V. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste a few of these micro DEM32 files in Google Earth until I cannot see the ground floor anymore. Once you can't see it anymore, you are pretty much set. Then you only have to take a picture uh, of, a screen, uh, of your desktop and then follow Napalm's tutorial from there. Um, there are several different ways to do this. Uh, personally, I prefer to do the the uh, print screen. Uh, I have a uh, pro program called Lightshot installed that in, in that in enables me to mark uh, the area that I want to maybe take a quick screenshot of and upload it. But I can also save it. So that's one way. Uh, there's several different ways. Uh, you can just do the normal print screen or you can use a uh, snipping tool that uh, comes with windows and do the same thing but anyways uh, Napal uh, has, ex uh, has explained that in his uh, tutorial on fsuk.com I'll give you the links to the different areas that uh, to, to the different sites that I have been using uh, to do this um, at the uh, below the video, um, I was pretty sure. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, so, if you follow these steps and then go back to fsuk.com and follow uh, Napalm's tutorial on page one, after the DEM, you should be set to create your own map in uh, in. Uh, Giants editor for Farm Simulator 15. So I hope that you found this tutorial useful. And uh, if you did, then please leave a like so that I know that you found it useful and you did like it. Um, if you have any questions, you can either post them down below or post them in this um, in this thread on the on the fsuk.com and I'll try to help you, uh, if not I'm pretty sure that some others will try to help you too. So, 
Anyways, this is uh, it for me. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll see you later. If not on FSU, if not on FSUK.com. So have a good one. Bye.